And this morning, we're going to hear from uh, four students who are involved in the Student Government Association at Newberry College. And we're going to start off with Nathaniel Carrasco, who is the president of the student body. So, Nathaniel, good morning, and thanks for being with us. Good morning, Mr. Coggins. Thank you for having us here. Great to have you here. Talk a little bit about yourself, first of all, where you're from and that kind of thing. Yeah, I'm the so currently I hold the position as student body president at Newberry College, and I'm currently from uh, Las Vegas, Nevada. Um, uh, right now, I reside in South Carolina, and for the summers, I usually go back to Florida. But this last summer, I went to California wow. for an internship. So, kind of loved the weather out there. Well, so uh, Las Vegas, Newberry, Florida, California. So, uh, c- can you explain that to me? <laughs> yeah, basically, my family has always been that type of family that moves around state to state. So right. we've never stayed in one area for a long time. It's always just been a different state every other two years. That's just our culture. Yeah, it sounds like military to me but yeah yeah very similar to that yeah exactly well glad you found your way to Newberry College and congratulations on being president now let's uh let's find out who else we have here we have Gabriel Meyer who is the senior class president good morning Gabriel good morning how are you doing doing great Uh, tell us a little about yourself where you're from Uh, I'm from Cocoa Beach Florida I actually came up here on an academic scholarship I'm a chemistry major over here at Newberry College Uh and uh yeah, senior year. I'm I'm loving it. Yeah, I bet so. We'll find out uh, your plans for the two of you in just a bit, but let's swing over to the other microphone now and Beasia Roberts, who is the ACE president. Beasia, good morning. Good morning, Mr. Coggins. How are you? Doing great. Glad to have you here. Tell us a little bit about yourself. So I am the ACE president. I'm originally from Chester, South Carolina, but I stay in Fort Mill, South Carolina right now, and I am currently a senior majoring in healthcare management and minoring in accounting. Very good. What you, well, we'll talk about your plans a little bit later. Tell us what ACE is. So ACE is all-campus entertainment, and basically what we do is we bring all events to campus. So we do things such as open mic nights, movie nights. Mm-hmm. Um, we do things for homecoming. Um, We do things for the freshmen. Basically, we just try to make the campus as enjoyable for the students as we possibly can. Right, and I followed that on Facebook and Twitter, I guess, too. So uh, I get to see some of the things that you do. So that's pretty cool. All right, uh, the fourth person we have with us is Trey Phoenix. And Trey is the resident life uh, representative. So, Trey, uh, that's a pretty important thing, I think, because if the residents aren't happy, that's not good. Yes, sir. Uh, How you doing, Mr. Coggins? Doing great, thanks. Tell us a little bit about yourself. Um, well, I'm Trey Phoenix. I'm also a senior here at Newberry College. Um, you're right, man. Res- residence life is a tough job because our main priority is to keep the residents happy by any means necessary. You right. know, that's either their way or the highway. So, But um, I also play football here at Newberry as well as being as part of other organizations. But, um, yeah, I'm ready for the playoffs, man. Go Wolves. Yeah, amen. We'll talk about that before you get gone here in a little bit because that's, uh, that's top of my list right now, too. So we'll hear more about that. All right, back to uh, Nathaniel, the president of the student body. Let's talk about some of the things that you guys have done. And I see right at the top of the list that you sent me, and I'm liking this idea, campus grill outs. Yeah, so we do um, all sorts of events for the student body, kind of similar to ACE, but ACE does a a way better job than we do. But we do stuff like campus grill outs, SGA tailgates where we give out foam fingers, Newberry swag to some of our alumni family and some of the students of the student body. We had this one event called Voice of the People Night, and it was uh, really eye-opening because all the students came together and they, they... talked about their concerns and the comments they had with the with the uh, environment of Newberry College which gave us uh, opened our eyes because we knew what to focus on and what to solve and fix from there exactly and so that's a really good way for the student government to reach out to the to the constituents if you will the voice of the students yes sir absolutely yeah so uh, let's talk about class meetings and I'm going to ask Gabriel to talk about that since you're a senior so uh, talk about the class meetings Yes, sir. So pretty much what we do is two times a year, we try to get all of the the class together and each class president presents a presentation and lets the class know what they're supposed to do for the rest of the semester and what they need to get done and ways that it can make it easier to pass on to the next grade level. Right. And uh, any information that they need to know to to make their time here better. All right, very good. Now, what's this about ab workout classes? Uh, who's going to talk about that one? 
Yeah, so she's actually not right here with us, but our sophomore class president, she had the idea of ab workout classes, and uh, we've had it several times a semester, and there's a, a room, a yoga room, where uh-huh. some of the student body and herself get together, and they actually start working out on abs for 20, 30 minutes, or however long it is. Yeah, I probably um, need to join that class myself. <laughs> right. <laughs> Okay, well, very good. Now, uh, obviously, we just had Halloween, so I know that uh, we had a Halloween costume uh, party and contest. So, uh, uh, Biagio, you want to talk about that? Was that part of ACE? Yes, sir, it was. It was actually in collaboration with SGA and the uh, Kappas, a Greek organization at our school. Um, Our main goal with having it is so a lot of people talk about how Newberry used to be like Mm -hmm. three, four years ago. So our main goal was to make Newberry that way for Halloween. So um, we had food, we had a DJ, we had a host come in. Um, we had intended on doing a Halloween costume contest, right. but that didn't really go okay. as planned. But overall, it was a good night. It was a way for some of the students to come out, wear their costumes, and just enjoy Halloween on campus. Yeah. When you said Newberry like it used to be, you didn't go back as far as I thought you were going back to my time. You were talking three or four years ago. Yeah, like, <laughs> you know, kind of closer in time. But, you know, how I guess – before we got here, like the people who probably graduated before, they said that Newberry was just like a really fun and enjoyable place to be. And I seen videos of um, events that they had before we got here. And Newberry was just, Newberry is still a great place to be, but it was just amazing yeah. three, four years ago. So that's what we're trying to do. Very good. Uh, and I want to get off the subject here for just a second. Was it just me or was that the most electrifying homecoming crowd I've ever seen this past year. What what would you guys say about that? Absolutely. It was awesome. I, I unfortunately had to miss it because I also run cross country, and that right. was during our conference. Um, but, Trey, were, were you were you there at homecoming? Of course. Of yeah. course, man. It was exhilarating, man, walking through the gates. Like, as soon as, you know, it was time for us to run out and run behind, you know, the car that we run behind, the scar and the cheerleaders, and you just walk in and you just see a sea of red. You see fan, our fans on both sides of the stadium, people outside tailgating. You got people standing up. People can barely move. And, it, I mean, it, it was just a crazy feeling, man. It, unbelievable. We need the same crowd out there this Saturday, though. Yeah, we really do. And, by the way, I had a chance to run out with the team before the Catawba game, and uh, you, you can watch that and get pumped up, but when you're actually doing it, it's, it's a different thing. So. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. <laughs> yeah, so uh, you're right. We need a big crowd this week, and we're going to talk more about that. All right, back to the list of uh, topics here. Senior Jose's Night. Yeah, so th- pretty much what this is, this is a, a seniors-only event where we go over to San Jose's. That's right down the road. And we eat some Mexican f- food and hang out and have a good time. I- Good idea, good idea, and uh, it's not that expensive either. No, no, it's yeah, not. Exactly. All right, so uh, let's so go back around the table. I want to talk to uh, all of you to get a little bit of a feeling here about what life is like as a student leader on campus, and e- each of you probably have a different perspective. I mean, because we've got the president, we've got the senior class president, we've got the ace president, we've got the resident slice representative, and a football player. So, uh, you know, that that's adds all kinds of stuff. But let's go around the table here and talk a little bit about life as a student leader on campus. Yeah, I guess I'll, I'll go ahead and start first. You know, being a student is one thing. Being a student athlete is another. Um, being both is its own challenge. But then adding that leadership component to everything just makes it to where wherever you go on campus, people are always watching and professors are watching and faculty members are watching. So it gives you that positive pressure to always just um, make sure you're you're on the right path right and um, I, I I've been a student leader ever since my freshman year and I wouldn't have it any other way did you ever have any plans uh, that you were going to become a, a student government president or was that just something that happened or did you kind of have that feeling when you got there or what was the deal with that I absolutely seen that vision the summer before my freshman year. I went online. I seen they had an SGA uh, handbook. I read the entire handbook. I seen the top leader was student body leader, and this was before I was a freshman. And I I said, before I leave Newberry College, I will be the student body president. So you set a goal, and you did it. All right, congratulations. All right, uh, Gabriel, what about you? Uh, 
well, life as a student leader on campus, and obviously this is your last year. Uh, it is. And kind of picking back in off of Nate, um, over here at, at, in Newberry, as a college student for, for young people our age, you know, there's there's not so much things to do here. I mean, I, I love Oktoberfest, and there's certain events that go on downtown that are that are great, that I've participated in every year. It's traditional. Um, but in order to kind of have a presence on campus and get to know people and and stuff like that, you kind of have to get involved and and it's got to be a little bit more than academics. So being a student leader here on campus, it just it kind of opens up that door to to meet people, to get involved in faculty, to to just w be able to walk around and and say hi to people every time you get up in the morning, and and it just changes the whole experience as a whole. Absolutely, and BJ, it gives you a chance to kind of mold what goes on there, especially in what you do. Yes, definitely. Um, I was in ACE my freshman year. I was just a regular member, but my sophomore year is like when it really took off and I got more involved with it and I seen how big of an impact ACE has on the campus. My freshman year, I just thought it was a regular organization that just, you know, was on the campus. But I see now that literally we are like, I'm not going to say we're the main people on campus, but we bring to the campus what the students want. Right. So. I can say being a leader for ACE and also being involved in other things such as SGA, um, being vice president for a first year experience, it's it's been life changing, honestly. I went from a regular freshman that was just here, didn't know what to do, to being a senior now and knowing so many people on campus and getting to be included in so many things and just having an experience that I really didn't think I would have when I came here my freshman year. Right, and again, helping to mold what does happen on campus. So, Trey, being a football player, student athlete, and then having responsibilities of being a student, not to mention being a leader on campus, it takes a lot of time, and obviously this is your busiest time of the year. Yes, sir, man. Uh, being a, a student athlete, like like Nathaniel said, man, is one thing, and being a leader and all that combination combined, it, get, it gets challenging, but I love it. Like, I, I love it. Uh, I didn't mention the other organizations I'm a part of. It gets pretty long-winded. Um, <laughs> honestly, uh, my, my main focus here lately has been uh, just academics and football because football has really just been thriving. But uh, being able to be a part of these different leadership organizations and these leadership roles, it, it really helps you network, you know. Be as I talked about being being able to know just about, uh, well, knowing a lot of people on campus. And, man, I, I remember too many names. <laughs> like, they, they need a student dean position, not the dean of students. <laughs> like, I remember way too many uh, people's names, man. I, I love it, though. Very good. And, uh, of course, being an athlete, whether it's football or anything else, it creates this uh, – I mean, you got to be dedicated to whatever sport it is that you're involved in, and that takes a lot of uh, – a lot of time and effort as well. I'm going to take a break right here. We want, When we come back and before we wrap things up, we want to talk about uh, a little bit about uh, what your plans are after you leave and uh, the fact that you're soon going to be, most of you, a Newberry College alum. And uh, we'll talk about that when we come back. All right, back here on the Coffee Hour, Newberry College Day, and we're talking with some of the students who are involved with the Student Government Association over at Newberry College. And uh, the president of the uh, student body, uh, Nathaniel uh, Carrasco, is with us. And we'll start back with you, Nathaniel. Before we get into plans after college and all that, what are some of the things you might be looking to do in the future for SGA? Yeah, so SGA's main goal is to enhance the, the, the college student's experience. So some, some events we have um, coming up, um, you know, I can't really think off, off the top of my head, but um, if, if they just uh, – read their emails daily they'll definitely know what we got coming up right and uh, check with the ace uh, twitter feeds and facebooks and all that kind of stuff all right uh, so uh let's get to uh, plans after college we'll start with nathaniel yeah so coming into college um i knew exactly what i wanted to major in business administration and i had the idea of becoming a sales representative for some company However, uh, I worked a very prestigious internship in California for two months this summer. Um, I can't 
really disclose what exactly I was doing because we did sign an NDA, but it was government contracting. Uh -huh. And so I worked on this one mission and it, it was extremely life changing. And I think after college, I'm going to work on some more government contracts. All right. Very good. And you'll become an alumni. I hope you won't forget about us. Oh, absolutely not. <laughs> absolutely not. Well, being the president, I don't think you will. Right. Right. All right. So, uh, Gabriel, what about you? What are your plans? I know you said something about chemistry. Uh, so, yes, unlike Nathaniel, when I was coming to Newberry, um, I, I knew that I wanted to do something in science, and but I was more on, like, the medical field right, track. Right, right. And half, about halfway through or into my, my sophomore year, I really chose not to go the whole pre-med track because I wasn't really feeling med school. And so I was thinking about what I could get a degree in in science because I, I love science. And um, that will open my career opportunity after school with just a bachelor's or and op open my opportunity for grad school if I choose to do that. And that was chemistry. And so my my grandparents and my dad uh, worked in the aerospace in industry their right. whole lives. And I grew up in Cocoa Beach, which is right next to Cape Canaveral where the Space Center is. And so my plan is to is to do something involving aerospace and uh, so right now what I'm thinking is polymers for the next rocket that's going going up and working for for SpaceX or Jacobs or one of those companies that are out there and uh, sending some rockets in space. All right, very good. That's awesome. And uh, I went to the Space Center a couple of five years ago and just was blown away. I'd never been there before, so I took a couple of days and it was unbelievable. So uh, I, good luck with that. All right, Deasia, De um, you mentioned you're in the you're looking at the healthcare field. Obviously, uh, my son was a graduate of Newberry, but they didn't have that program here, so he went to MUSC afterwards. But uh, I'm assuming you're trying to get into the administrative field there? Yes, sir, I am. Um, originally, when I came to Newberry, like when they accepted me here, I was majoring in biology. I had wanted to be a pediatric oncologist, but that changed, um, like I would say, maybe a month or two before I got here. So um, healthcare management, minoring in accounting, I would like to work in HR for either a hospital or some type of medical facility, whether it's like a dentist's office or just a regular doctor's office. Um, right now, I'm working on getting some internships in HR, so that way I can get some type of experience. It's kind of hard getting that because with COVID and everything still right. going on, a lot of medical facilities aren't letting people come in that are outsiders. So I'm going to start off with just getting an internship in like a regular business office and working my way up through there. I intend on going back home and working in North Carolina, Charlotte, to be specific. Right. So, yeah, those are my plans. All right, very good. And there's a lot of possibilities up in the Charlotte area, one of the great cities in the country, if you ask me. But anyway, all right, uh, Trey, so uh, we got to talk football here for a second first, and then we'll talk, uh, we'll talk about what's coming up for you after you finish. But this is a very, very big game. Um, it, it, it's still big, even though Wingate got beat. Um, by Lenore Ryan, Go Bears. I, I never, I can't believe I was saying that, but I did. And uh, this one's still big because I think we we control our own destiny. I mean, we win the next two weeks, and uh, we're in like Flynn, as the old saying goes. Well, somebody has been listening to Coach Knight's uh, radio <laughs> talk. <laughs> I wonder who that might be. <laughs> this one, this one is definitely for all the marbles, man. This one means a lot. Wingate has always been that team to beat since since I've started playing football here, man. It's always been Wingate, you know, the powerhouse team, this, that, and the third. And, man, we finally have came together as a team. And, like, this one is really for, you know, all the marbles, man. This is everything. W regardless of how pe people see it on the outside, like, maybe it's just a, another regular season game to them, but it's not, man. It has so much passion behind it, so much meaning. Like, we worked our behinds off to get to this point. Right, absolutely. Well, good luck on Saturday. We'll be there, of course, uh, as always. And uh, we'll look forward to a win over Wingate and then a win over Limestone and then a win over wherever we go or whoever we play, hopefully in the playoffs. So what are your plans after school? Uh, my plans after school, uh, everybody told you their story, of, you know, when they got here, you know, what their plans were. Uh, I honestly came to college because I was given the opportunity to. 
Mm-hmm. Um, most people in my family didn't really have the opportunity to go to college. I, I am first generation. Um, I actually came to college just to say I did it. Right. Just to say I, I, this was a stepping stone in my life and I achieved it. Um, I never really had any plans to n- know what I was going to do after college. I, I just knew that my main goal was to save the world, was to save humanity, to really be like a superhero to other people. Um, not with the cape and tights and all that. Like, no, I really just want to save humanity because technology has blinded us from the r- real illness that's going on through the world right now. Um, I'm not really into politics, and I'm not going to really speak on it too much, but let's just say people people with great power have the ability to do damaging things that technology is just blinding us to see. Well, that's uh, pretty well said, actually, and uh, I think you will be a superhero to somebody. I feel that coming, and that's all you can ask for in life is to is to change somebody else's life for the better. Yes, sir. Yes, sir, man. I just want to spread that that positive vibes and that joy and to just keep enlightening people, you know? All right. Very good. Well, we want to thank all of you for being here. Don't forget about us when you get out of here. We look to see you back on one of those homecomings. And uh, remember the college in in your giving, too. <laughs> we need more of that as well, no doubt. All right. So, Nathaniel Carrasco, the president of the student body at Newberry, Gabriel Meyer, the senior class president, Beasia Roberts, the ace president, and Trey Phoenix, resident life representative. Thank you all very much, and a great job here this morning. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you for having us. Thanks for being here. All right, uh, stay tuned.